Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best coffee pods in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 12. SF Bay Coffee French Roast Compostable Of all the coffee pods we tasted, the SF Bay French Roast was the only compostable one. Granted, it needs to be sent to a high-heat industrial composting facility, but we still think it's a step in the right direction for dealing with pod waste. However, solid drinkability of the coffee is lacking. With a malty aroma and a flavor that reminded us of burnt molasses, this coffee left an ashy aftertaste that was capped off with a sour finish. Although we didn't enjoy the taste, we found nothing out of place or character, and if you enjoy intensely dark French roasts, this might just be what you're looking for. Number 11. Death Wish Coffee Single Serve Capsules Death Wish Coffee is the only coffee we reviewed that wasn't 100% Arabica coffee. The blend of Arabica and Robusta beans, along with Death Wish's proprietary roasting technique, leads to claims of double the caffeine content of any other coffee pod on the market. The nutty aroma and green pepper and coriander flavors are well matched by the medium brightness levels and mild acidity. The body is light, bordering on watery but not unpleasantly so. Overall the taste was in the middle of the pack, undoubtedly drinkable, but not our favorite. Number 10. Dunkin' Donuts Original Blend Medium K-Cups The Dunkin' Original Blend is reminiscent of the classic cup served at your local Dunkin' Donuts cafe. With aromas likened to earthy greens, you transition nicely from the inviting earthy smell to flavors best described as nutmeg and dark chocolate. While not too noticeable, the coffee's subtle brightness departs quickly to an astringent aftertaste that leaves your mouth feeling dry. This relatively light-tasting blend wasn't our favorite, with a texture not unlike skim milk. However, we think it will appeal to all those East Coast die-hard Dunkin' fans. Number 9. Swiss Miss Milk Chocolate Hot Cocoa K-Cup Pods Few things in life are cozier than a blanket, a fire, and a mug of hot chocolate. Many K-Cups offer this simple luxury, but the best among them comes, naturally, from Swiss Mississippi. These K-Cups capture the brand's signature creaminess and sweet chocolatey flavor, all whipped up in seconds with your Keurig. You can find pods in three flavors, milk chocolate, peppermint, and reduced calorie. Some customers mention that the powder inside the K-Cups can clump at times, leading to slight inconsistencies in the hot chocolate, but the vast majority give it positive reviews. Number 8. The Original Donut Shop Decaf K-Cup The Decaf version of the Original Donut Shop Coffee Pod offers a very similar, although not entirely identical, taste profile. A chocolatey aroma gives way to a flavor profile that tastes like baker's chocolate and toasted grains This decaf pod is tasty enough to serve up as a quick post-dinner brew. With medium acidity levels, there is a spike in brightness right as the sip finishes that then transitions nicely into a lingering taste of cacao. It was our favorite decaf pod with a smooth body and an outstanding balance of flavor and aroma. Number 7. Café Bustolo Espresso Style K-Cups billed as Latin Style Coffee, Café Bustolo is a dark roast blend intended to be doctored up with milk and sugar. That said, it is delicious enough all on its own. Although it is one of the darker roasts we sampled, it was one of the few dark roasts that didn't come across as burnt. The roast was dark enough to get even the sleepiest motors running but not at the cost of losing an interesting flavor profile. The darkness of the roast translated well into deep flavor profiles of caramelized sugar and hazelnut. Certainly not the pods for those looking for a light or mild cup, this rich and well-balanced coffee will be favored by those who prefer their coffee bold or those who want a cup that can stand up to milk and sugar without tasting diluted. Number 6. McCafe Premium Roast Coffee The McCafe Premium Roast Coffee Pod is advertised as a medium roast coffee, but we found it one of the lighter tasting coffees in our testing lineup. As you lift your cup, you're greeted with a subtle but distinctly nutty aroma. The pleasant aroma then segues into a complimentary taste of toasted almonds as you take your first sip. There is a mild amount of acidity that comes out in the aftertaste. As the flavors depart from your tongue, you are left with a crisp finish and lingering notes of citrus. 
Mild acidity and light body leave you with a well-balanced coffee perfect for your first cup of the day. Number 5. Victor Allen Coffee Single Serve Coffee Pods To ensure value for your money when purchasing K-Cups, check the price per pod instead of the flat cost of a box. This will help you distinguish the true bargain brands. While prices vary depending on the retailer, Victor Allen's coffee is generally an excellent budget pick. The brand manufactures dozens of varieties, from familiar flavors like this French roast to more adventurous picks like peppermint bark and white chocolate caramel. And since buying in bulk is another tried-and-true method for saving money, customers will be pleased to know that Victor Allen's sells many of its coffees in cost-effective 200-count boxes. At Victor Allen's Coffee, we love the craft of roasting. Maybe that's why we have a special connection to our French roast for K-Cup Keurig 2.0 Brewers. Unlike a location-specific bean, the flavor distinction of French roast coffee comes directly from the roasting process. We take great care to make sure our beans are always precision roasted to perfection. Every roast. Every time. Number 4. Laughing Man Ethiopia Cinema with the popularity of coffee pods ever increasing, you don't have to resign yourself to cheap and burnt tasting pods. The single origin light roast pod by Laughing Man comes close to delivering a cup of coffee that even serious coffee snobs won't turn up their noses at. Coffee drinkers often fall into two polarized camps, those who prefer light roasts and those who like it as dark as can be. If you fall into the latter group, this coffee pod may disappoint. It starts with aromas of nougat and flavors akin to caramel and graham cracker, this coffee finishes with notes of toasted marshmallow. It is a sweet and bright cup of coffee that is enjoyable from start to finish. Number 3. Salomo Dark Roast The Salomo Dark Roast Pods are Amazon's in-house brand that rivals the mild taste and experience of the original donut shop's pods but are sold at a significantly lower price point. The Salomo Pods give off nutty aromas faintly reminiscent of caramelized sugar, with dark flavors. We found notes of baker's chocolate that ended with a slight sweetness akin to dried figs. Overall the cups we brewed had low acidity, a medium body, and tasted well balanced. This pod makes an easy drinking cup that is generally a crowd pleaser for groups with varied tastes. For those who like their coffee as dark as can be, this pod might miss the mark. To us, it tasted and felt more like a medium roast that was trending into dark roast territory, making it an ideal choice for savvy consumers seeking a medium to dark roast pod. Number 2. Bulletproof The original roast coffee known for its line of health supplements and popular with the keto crowd, Bulletproof offers high-quality single-origin coffee in pod form. To make it Bulletproof, a popular meal supplement, and the brand's namesake, you would need to add butter or other ingredients. For those uninterested in that, fear not, these pods are simply unadulterated coffee. With wafting aromas of sweetened vanilla, this coffee had the most enticing smell of all the coffees we tasted, offering earthy flavors of cedar and dark chocolate. This medium-bodied coffee boasted a smooth finish with no lingering bitterness. The moderate acidity and the grippy mouthfeel created a well-balanced cup suited to any time of day. Unlike the in-bag version, the coffee has a slightly artificial aftertaste, likely from being stored in the plastic pods. Number 1. Nespresso Original Line Capsules Nespresso machines are in a class of their own when it comes to instant coffee pods. While your options for types of pods are severely more limited than with a Keurig, our testers found the limited number of choices to be well worth it. All the pods we tested in the Nespresso variety pack were delicious. Nespresso pods produce a rich style of coffee that the entry-level machine can make into either an espresso-sized shot or a lungo shot, which has a milder flavor and more volume. While these pods don't produce real espresso, it's about as close as you'll get without investing in an expensive machine or making a trip to your local coffee shop. Both of these options are much smaller in volume than a standard American cup of coffee, so if you prefer a hefty cup that you can nurse all morning long, you might opt for a Keurig instead. The concentrated espresso-style coffee produced by the Nespresso pods had a smooth texture, complete with a rich crema on top of the brew. Each pod we tried had an evident and enjoyable brightness level that carried into a subtle and pleasant citrusy finish. With an inviting aroma and more nuanced flavors, the Nespresso pods were by far our favorite coffee pods.